Welcome to Chalk Across America. I'm Doug Miles, and we're here in beautiful Sarasota, Florida. And joining us now on our book talk segment, great to welcome him. He's written a really interesting kind of a fascinating book as well. If you're a cat lover, even if you're not, it's called Engineering for Cats. Better the life of your pet with 10, a cat approved project. We're joined today by Mac Delaney. He's a uh, aerospace engineer, but he's kind of branched out into this interesting project. And he joined us by telephone today. And Mac, good to talk with you. How are you? Fantastic. Thanks for having me. Yeah, a chance to read through the book. Now, I, I got to say, I'm more of a dog person than a cat person, but, uh, but they, they are kind of fascinating animals aren't they? And, and they have certain needs, I guess, right? That, is that kind of led you to writing the book? Oh, definitely. They're, they're uh, uh, mysterious creatures. Uh, dogs are very, uh, obviously have their own uh, uh, challenges, but they're, they're a little convenient in that they, they take your attention very seriously and you can reward them with attention and they want to make you proud, at least it seems if you've got a really good dog. <laughs> uh, but, but cats, they just, cats, uh, as you might know, they just don't really care about you too much, at least not in terms of changing their own behavior. So you, you, I've been trying to learn more about cats and what, what makes them tick, the, 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 what instincts are driving their behavior. And each one of the projects in this book uh, is kind of aimed at addressing some of those behaviors that will make it, uh, your relationship with a cat a little easier. Yeah, I always kind of had that feeling, too. They're the nice animals, and, and some are friendlier than others. But you know, like a dog misses you when you're not there. A, do- a cat, if you're not there all day, they don't really seem to miss you, right? <laughs> Well, they don't seem to care as much. Yeah. <laughs> Which is convenient for some pet owners. If you if you can't be there, it's nice that they can actually survive on their own. But and, and they do show affection too when they when they are they they are still social animals. But yeah, they they're certainly not as uh, emotionally uh, and show it as well as a dog. I'll give you that. I guess you, you would kind of think dogs need to be active, and they do, uh, you know, to keep you know, keep them busy, play with them and all that. But cats uh, need that as well, even though they're more independent, right? Uh, if they get bored, they can be tend to be destructive. So you, th- these things that you build, you know, cat toys and, you know, the cat towers and scratch towers, that, that's important for a cat, right, to have, give them something to do? Yeah, I, I mean, as, as much as they sometimes act like it, they're, they're not just a, uh, a decoration for the windowsill. They do uh, have their own instincts <laughs> and need to, to hunt and play like that. And uh, so some of those projects are designed just for that. One of the most entertaining projects I think uh, uh, I have is called the Cat's Treat Slot Machine. It's, yeah. it's kind of a puzzle treat feeder uh, to help stimulate a cat's mind and also for, for my chubby cat to, to prevent them from eating all his food too quickly. Uh, and it's just a, a set of uh, these PVC pipe spinners that you can, can create. And as the cat learns to bat them around, uh, there's a, a random chance that a little uh, treat will pop out every once in a while. Uh, and it's it's pretty entertaining to watch the cats go crazy and try and figure out this puzzle. And it also preoccupies them from uh, some more destructive uh, hobbies that they could learn to develop. That's it. I was going to ask you about that when I was on my list. The other one I, I thought was interesting, and I didn't know this, with cats, I know cats are thrilled with water, but if it's still water, they really... Uh won't drink, right? So you, you, one of your projects is coming up with something, a cat water, a drinking fountain that keeps the water moving. They, they, they're more interested in that, right, than spill water. Yeah, the, the leading uh, uh, explanation for that I've heard is that it's just in the wild, it's uh, more likely that stagnant water is going to be contaminated than running water. And, and some cats really really have a strong preference. If they know that they can get running water, they'll they'll whine and holler for it even if they've got a full water bowl ready that's full of clean water. Yeah. And that was the case with Mike Paul Pepe. He just really loved to, to figure out how to get that tap on, even if it meant waking us up at night. And so uh, so I, that was the first project in the book was, all right, we need to stop this. We need to stop them from whining. So I built the recirculating fountain uh, out of a PVC pipe. Uh, there's two versions of it now in the book. One of them is really simple, only takes about an hour to build max. Uh, and you can put it in an existing water bowl. It just kind of disturbs the water in there and, and flows over the fountain. And if you want to get fancier, there's a, uh, a much fancier advanced water fountain with uh, multiple different locations it can drink out of and also a water filter to keep it cleaner longer. I was going to ask you, the, the, the length of time for most of these projects, a couple hours tops? Yeah, there's a big range. I'd say that they're all a little more advanced than your standard cat craft. Uh, I've tried to focus on ones that could uh, make use of some engineering background. Mm-hmm. Um, so the, the simplest one still requires a few tools uh, and takes about an hour. Uh, the most complicated one, which is a hamster wheel for a cat, 
uh, probably takes between like 10 and 20 hours to build, uh, but all still with standard tools and all with uh, materials that you can get at a, at a standard hardware, hardware store. Yeah, I like that cat wheel one at the, toward the back of the book. It gives them a place to exercise and they don't have to run around the house, I guess, right? <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it might be good for if you've got a hyperactive cat or one that's, that's cooped up in an apartment. I Really, I just saw this. I saw videos on the Internet of these cats running on a hamster wheel, and I had to have one. Uh, but they're pretty expensive to buy. If you want to. There's really great ones, but they're, but they're expensive to buy. So I said, well, let's, let's get a simpler option. So if you, the one in the book is meant to be uh, as simple as possible if, if you're not sure if your cat's really going to love it. Uh, you can build it with low risk, and uh, in the case of your cat totally rejects it, I'm, I'm sure like a, a local shelter with a bunch of kittens would love to have it. That's so. right. <laughs> you mentioned, uh, you know, cats, you know, they can be a little destructive if they're bored, and uh, I guess that's the point of the scratcher, right? If they are feeling that way, at least if they do it on the scratcher, they're not damaging your furniture. Is that the point of a scratcher? I don't know, but I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. I mean, scratching is a mysterious behavior just because there's a couple different reasons why they might be motivated to scratch. But I think the, the main conclusion is you can't really stop them from doing it. Uh, so the best option is to just to provide them something with something better to scratch. So in, in this case, there's a couple of different options. One of them is just a simple cat scratcher, but it gives you uh, full instructions on how to cover it with whatever carpet you would like, which, which I think was important to me because if, if the idea is you want to save the look of your living room by, uh, by preventing them from scratching up the, the couch, but then you have to add one of those ugly tan uh, scratchers that you can buy from the pool that kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> so with this one, you get some instructions to, to match your whole decor, and uh, you, you, you can uh, build your own with whatever carpet you like. Obviously, uh, this is a, a fun project for you. As an aerospace engineer, you get to use those uh, skills and talents, but in a fun way. I, I would imagine this is a fun project for you, putting this together. Oh, it was great. Yeah, it's, it's all the same concepts that I use in my day job. And uh, uh, one of the fun things for me, anyway, is, is when I, I, I work as an aerospace engineer, and it, it's uh, uh, very motivating and inspiring to be part of these projects. But to put an airplane in the air requires uh, thousands or tens of thousands of people. Um, so you're, you kind of have a limited role. <laughs> and uh, with CAT projects, you get to do do every detail of it. You get to be be a part of all the construction and all the design. So it, it makes it a little fun in a different way. Engineering for Cats, Better the Life of Your Pet with 10 CAT-approved projects is the full title. And we've been talking with Mac Delaney today, and it's published by uh, Workman Books. Do you have a website, Mac? People can uh, get more information about the book? I do, yeah. It's uh, engineeringforcats.com. You can get some pictures of uh, a handful of the projects and uh, also find out where you can get the book. Great. Mac, pleasure talking to you. Hopefully we can do it again. Thanks for being with us. Thanks a lot. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for joining us today on Talk Across America. Please visit our website at DougMilesMedia.com for more great interviews and content. And if you're interested in any of the books we talk about on the program, please click the Amazon link on our website. It helps support the podcast. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again real soon here from beautiful Sarasota, Florida. I'm Stan Brock. 30 years ago, I formed Remote Area Medical to help people overseas. But then we found generations of families in America isolated by poverty from the health care they need. Together, we can take dental, vision, and medical help to a million adults and their kids right here at home in the United States of America.